Splats on some spots on some Makamart. Lots of flanking points. I wouldn't be surprised if Knight kept on playing that decavitator role. Um, coming out from royalty, though, I mean, they gotta be watching out for David Keown. I hope that Sigma on Earth has been maybe taking some notes while they've been kind of waiting in the interim period for royalty to meet them here. Um, because I really feel that David, with their Trizuka, has been so key for a lot of royalty success, and especially in the really crucial moments that they keep um, really doing good special stacking down to the wire for, so... I'm... I'm really... I, I'm always someone that's gonna root for the underdog, right? Like... Yeah! I'm always gonna root for the underdog, but I, I really appreciate the type of... Um, the type of gameplay that Sigma on Earth has brought to us, because I mean, and to be fair too, like, they've been waiting. They've gotten to, like, take a break and, like... Like you said, royalty is immediately coming in from a really hard-fought battle. Um from the loser's final side. So, I mean, they gotta keep, they gotta keep it going. The long game is, is continues. The long game continues. If there's the anything that the royalty, part. if there's anything that royalty has on their side, the last two has not gone the, uh, the distance there. They had a two zero, then a three one there. The last six, the last six maps has been a, has been a total five to one in the map victory. So that has been on their side. Nova player is going to be dished out. Again, a lot of eyes on Knight with the decav. Rest team is going to help support them. We kick off game one here in Grand Finals, of course, in Mako Zones. First cap already on the board there from Royalty. Dueling Sloshers that are both out of the picture, at least in the interim. It is going to be two down from Royalty, though. Sigma on Earth at least able to take two. They should be able to get the zones back here in just a quick moment. And that first punch is only just going to be is only going to be 16 points on the board there. Sigma looking for the response here, Zach. Yeah, and you got Joe trying to follow up on the left-hand side, narrowly escaping, getting one pick, looking to try to maybe poke in for a second. The Inkjet's going to make that pretty challenging, though, but once again, with David following up on the Trizuka, not going to find too much value with it, even with the Suction Bomb trying to help out as well. So that is a lead change coming out, but Joe is going to have so much space here to push forward after those tri strikes come out. So that's going to be royalty, like, eliminating the penalty points, but it's not going to really matter for long, as Sigma and Earth is going to come in and clap back, back just as hard. So, uh, pretty, once again, pretty neutral terms. It seems like everybody's kind of feeling each other out at this moment. Um, I really appreciate uh, the Nova coming out, though, in the opening bouts, Keon. I mean, good supportive pressure, but I also... I don't know if it's it's the right call. I feel like maybe the it seems like maybe if you if Knight wants to get a little bit more, uh, I don't know. I guess uh, ballsy is not the right word. If they want to get a little more, <laughs> more confident, aggressive, confident. Yeah. Um, I feel like they maybe want something that can also follow up with them. But maybe I could be wrong here because we're pretty neck and neck so far in terms of score. This could be, I, I feel like I'm going to say this twice now in this session is, this could be, this could boil down to who has the zones last, but I think Royalty is going to have other ideas. This is a lot of momentum, by the way, on their side right now. They've, they're, they've, they've taken this down to about 32 points remaining, and they've also won on a few, a few key fights there. That's a crucial pick, by the way, onto the range blaster as well, I believe, from GTR on top of it. Now they have to collapse onto the zone. Zone's going to be destroyed, so the trip strike should be able to secure it for Sigma there. That is going to stop, that is going to stop the points from being, from being chunked down further, but now let, let's see if Sigma can Try to can try to play a little bit more aggressive or play advantageous. You lose Knight in the process. That is going to be a good chunk of your aggression slightly going down. Nova is going to go down on top of it as well. And GTR still needs to look for openings there. But they're out of the penalty points. And it is going to be a delayed three. And this should be royalty. They neutralize it. They should be able to get the zones back. And they will. Yeah, that was a, a great breakout point there. Especially with Flush following up with a lot of those pencil uh, strikes. It left a lot of space to work with for royalty to break back in. But that's going to be Knight. Breaking through on the right-hand side, two members of Royalty going down, and the flank is going to maybe uh, take place here from Knight as members respawn in, but a splat bomb is going to prevent that process um, from taking full fruition here as finally you can see Royalty trying to break in on the right-hand side, but the strikes being perfectly placed there, Keon. Penalty now being eliminated here, but the strikes of their own from Royalty coming out with David following up on that Trizuka shot as well. Killer Whale is going to provide some displacement here, but not too much for Sigma on Earth. Sigma on Earth looking to maybe use some more special stacking, uh, but Keon, it seems like maybe making that a little bit more challenging. Royalty is going to be uh, taking it down to the 19 mark, but are we going to see maybe a, a shift in roles here uh, as Sigma on Earth has actually given them a run for their money? Yeah, yeah, that's the that's that was that's gonna be a key thing here for royalty. This has been a this defense has ha needs to be very tough 
the entire way through, and they've taken out three. Every time you feel like Sigma Earth is gonna is gonna strike big with a with a critical push of their own, the, um, the rest of Royalty, which by the way got the delayed wipeout, is able to hold the line once more. As as for Royalty, they gotta keep that momentum up there too. Uh, for this group, they have been able to take out some key members here from Sigma on Earth. Again, Knight feels like Knight kind of been neutralized a little bit in this session here. We're gonna call their name. They take out GTR, but that's a trade. Then that's a trade that Royalty will happily take any day, any day here in this map. As they're gonna be out of the penalty points, Lead is gonna extend here for just a little bit longer. They do lose the shot. That is a good chunk of their painting going down there as well. A fight for the zone. They're gonna lose a sniper. That's a good chunk of their painting. Three members have gone down. Saf, yes, it is gonna be some extra points of lore, but Sigma on Earth will need to capitalize, especially the three down situation but the zuka has other plans yeah nacho is going to have to retreat just a little bit to maybe recover from that shot there um again you got to be watching for david they get at least one pick every time they have a tri zuka in their hands but look at sale bringing up the rear here taking three members down on royalty that's going to be a wave breaker oh, from royalty man. coming out so the tracking is going to be happening however that's still two members of royalty going down sigma on earth Switching the script here and taking lead in the single digits now with only a few seconds left for maybe GTR looking to try to make an opening, but there's no time left, Keon. That's Sigma on Earth cruising through on game one. I wasn't kidding when it when it when, when I noted that the, whoever has the zones last will likely will will, will, will take advantage. And it's because how how close both teams were basically playing their splash plays right out of the gate there for royalty, able to take that home with a huge lead. The issue though is Sigma's aggression was able to find picks against royalty in huge moments. Defend the defense not quite strong enough from Royalty as well, as we're gonna get to see the replay there. Again, the Slosher having the so in on respawn, they lose GTR, the shot's gonna go down. Effectively, you know the lead's gonna change hands, and then you lose a sniper. Oh, right, that's so much pain being lost there. Signal is just gonna run that one all the way home for, for the KO with six seconds left to go. So, get Sigma on Earth, last seconds, and, and getting that lead and the KO. Royalty, though, still have a couple more opportunities, and this counter is gonna have to be uh, crucial here, Sad. Yeah, so Sigma on Earth getting a really solid win on Splat Zones. But hey, look at, I mean, that was Sigma on Earth giving Royalty a taste of their own medicine, right? It's like in yep. the final moments, they came back and they won with, with very little time left to spare. Um, and so now Royalty has to kind of sit with that and see how that feels now being put in the counterpick scenario. Um, so do they go with what they were counterpicking last time when they were forced in that, like down the line? Or do they want to go with something a little bit more upfront now that they are maybe being forced into this scenario a little bit earlier than they were expecting? But it's like you said, they, they are maybe a little bit tired from their last match. They had to come in and play against Sigma on Earth from a very challenging loser's finals. So it's like... They got to try to maybe rebound in some kind of way that can be advantageous for them here in this counter pick. So I'm not really sure what Sigma on Earth could really do to try to combat a change coming from them. I do think um, it's interesting that Sigma on Earth can really combat um, Blush on the pencil coming out from Royalty. I think that's a pretty that's been a pretty interesting sight to watch. Um, so Rainmaker Crab Leg Capital, so much crab legs Deja vu. today. Yeah. Like, God, we live here today. Um, <laughs> Counterpick coming out for Royalty. They really like this map. They like it here. This is going to be intriguing. So, remember Winner's Finals a couple moments ago when you saw Inkbound went, went um, counterpicking Ray, um, Crab Light Capital Rainmaker? Royalty is going to do the exact same thing here in Game 2. From Winner's Finals, Sigma Nurse was able, was able to t take out take out Inkbound, in, in, Inkbound there with Inkbound not able to break through the checkpoint. Royalty, we saw from the previous set, Able, able to take that one home, uh, able to take that one home with their own counter pick. So now the ultimate question becomes: Can they can they outmaneuver Sigma on Earth with this counter pick? Time is going to tell. Joe's on that sample. That that makes a lot of sense for this one. And on the other side, it's the 96 gal. That was a key thing that that mm -hmm. Sigma on Earth needed to win that Crab Lake Rainmaker matchup. Game two is gonna is gonna be queuing up here, Saf. Yeah, you cannot allow Sigma on Earth to get remotely comfortable on that upper right-hand corner, Keon, because every time Orphan was on that vacuum there, that was all 
snowballs from Sigma on Earth um, once they had the Rainmaker in possession. So with the opening fights, though, going on in the midsection, there is that vacuum there trying to maybe help out, uh, provide a little bit of assistance for some passage for Knight coming out through there. Not going to find contact with anyone up on the platform. Knight barely getting to taste the, the pedestal before going down. Um, so no checkpoint taken here for, by Sigma on Earth. That's going to be royalty following up here. GTR needing to jump out and reposition themselves. Um, but still, Sigma on Earth not laying up on the gas here. That's a huge pick coming out from Nacho. That's going to be the blaster getting taken out of the game here. But still, with two members down on Royalty, Blush and David are just enough to keep the paint on their side going. Yeah, yeah, and that reset will, will Royalty will at least take. But the shot going down is going to have to is going to maybe slow this one down, down a little bit. Aimbat popped a little early there. They're going to uh, early there from what it could be just trying to build up the space for the for this group to, to, to take this one through. As it is going to be Knight again taking on GTR. They're going to go for the left hand side. Should be the checkpoint here soon, I would think. But no, they're only going to cash in on three more points there. Sigma Earth goes two down once again. Royalty is at least once is at least able to hold the line again there. Um, preventing that from getting out of control, but Sail was, is able to fight wow. on the other side. Not able to cash that one home. I cannot believe it. Royalty going looting three, though. Knight strikes again to the late wipeout. This should uh, this should be the first checkpoint, and it will. Okay, Knight risking their lives there to take themselves out to at least get that first checkpoint, but that is going to be a huge momentum push for Sigma on Earth here. You can see Orphan trying to utilize the last of their vacuum to break open the Rainmaker there. As you can see, maybe trying to see if they want to go up the right hand side. That is going to be Knight trying to see if they can go in for the flank. But that's three different members of Royalty looking at Knight right now, Keon. With one of them going down, but also trading out with the bucket here. Uh, so David's going to try to see if they can use this Trizu could open up something in the midsection there. Um, not really having a, too much follow-up though from the teammates there, especially the Sprinkler. The Sprinkler always coming through just a little bit for that extra ink power, Keon. Always true, especially with that Sprinkler could, make, could mean a lot of things in the grand, in, in the grand scheme of things. There is, this is going to be Joel trying to play this one very patiently, able to take out the ink back. And it is going to be one member up there, but the Slosher might be lurking large. In fact, it was a clutch pick overall there from Sail. Sail's able to prevent the check from being cashed in, and this jump is going to get punished a little bit sooner than rather than later. Knight is able to, Knight has to retreat just a tiny bit more. But I've noted there too, that pick was so critical because it prevents the first check from being cashed in. But Sigma and Earth are still gonna go two down. Nevertheless, Knight is able to take out one. It is gonna, they're gonna trade for their lives, but the Rainmaker is gonna reset. Royalty has to start again. Yeah, look at Joe trying to follow up here and take out Orphan of the process. You can see Knight trying to jump in, but that's going to be Joe knowing exactly where their landing point's going to be. But a lot of pressure coming out from the ball point here, but that's three members of Sigma on Earth down. This could be really big for Royalty. With three members down, it's perfect uh, opportunity for David to try to pop this first checkpoint, but it's not going to be quite enough as Nacho is going to follow up with the ball point and take them out here. There's so much pink on the wow. field, and even with Knight trying to break through, it's not going to be quite enough. That's Royalty breaking that first checkpoint there. So similar positions right now for Sigma on Earth and Royalty with a minute and some change left. This is going to be, this is almost going to be pretty evenly matched west away. So it's going to come down to who, who finds the entrance. Knight's able to find one, but they are going to trade two members of Sigma on Earth for their lives for it. And Sigma on Earth, that you can only imagine, trying to see if they can play this one a little aggressively, able to stay alive, but the Rainmaker is going to get dropped once more. David with a critical pick there. On top of it, Knight's going to get traded out. It's three members down. The Rainmaker kind of in a tough position there. Royalty will need, will just need to move a few inches past the checkpoint to swipe lead. And Sack, it's been so evenly matched, it feels like now, but this and the Rainmaker, how this push is going to play out, it's going to be critical. Joel's going to try to look for that for that opening. Knight is going to go down, the Rainmaker's going to be reset. I feel like this is going to be a very tense finish coming up here, Sack. Yeah, the right-hand side is going to be the great place for them to go. They get up lead. on the side, that is going to be the lead change. All they had to do was just surmount the little section on the wall there, but that's still three members down on Royalty Keon. The push coming out from GTR was going to be something, and Joe trying to help the follow-up, especially with that jump coming in. Not going to be quite as useful, though, as they were hoping to. So that is Sigma on Earth trying to get the Rainmaker pushed up here. Nacho is going to opt to pick it up. Not oh, no. That. Only a few seconds left, though. GTR is going to be taken out. That is a lot of range on their side. But like I said, Kyo, look at this. The oh, no. And a lot of it has to do with that vacuum being in such a great position from Orphan. So that's 30 seconds left on the dot for Sigma to try to even get it any further. They have so many people left to go and clutch it up and take us into game number three. Um...
again, royalty really getting a taste of their own medicine here, Kion. It's it's really hard to dabble with and follow up with. Basically, the reverse script, if you will, for royalty. Royalty would take would swipe lead in the last thirty seconds. Sigma will just do the same, and this is, I believe, championship point for Sigma on Earth to see if they can be the winners of Loink for this month. And a, a royalty understood the assignment, having to move up a few inches to get the lead. The problem is Knight had full clearance into the back line, and it's almost inevitable with when the ink that gets popped, the lead's gonna just gonna change hands. Nacho trying to put it in a position where it might be tough for royalty to get it back. I mean, either way, the blaster was gonna be up, is gonna be up regardless, using the triple ink strikes to just pick up the rainmaker and just take it all the way home. All you gotta do is just pick that one up soon. And Sigma on Earth, the last seconds they they get lead back. Royalty has to do has to not only get this counter pick right. If they win, it's Sigma on Earth having to counter picks the rest of the way. It's very tough. Royalty, though, again, signs of good things happening. Just got to figure out a way to finish. Right. And and just like last time, though, Royalty had the upper hand in this situation. And now they are the ones that are being forced to burn their counter picks early on um so it's challenging to have to be switched positions here so th we are going to be playing rainmaker again kion but this time we're going to be punching our tickets in at the museum um and i'm wondering too what why i always want to know why like what wow. it, like what does it all mean wow wow <laughs> wow and that's good that and that's gonna be the one i'm wondering about is this museum rainmaker we, i feel like i've had my fair share of very close calls in museum rainmaker for not just this one but obviously from a couple weeks back back <laughs> at riptide so i'm gonna be intrigued to see what royalty has in store for this museum maybe they feel like they could take sigma on earth into the into into a different map and feel like rainmaker is still on their side but they the big thing now for royalty is how do you you get you get lead in the last months how do you hold the line and of course, how do you deal with not with Knight, who has just found entrances to their base that makes it hard? Yeah, consistently. Consistently infiltrating into the base at some point. We just see like one batch of ink that just doesn't fit in with the rest of it. And you're like, oh, well, there goes Knight. <laughs> so, I mean, especially with something like Museum, it's a little bit more challenging to flank um, unless Knight is going to opt to take higher ground, which in which case that could be especially useful. Um, but I I don't know. It's it's challenging because also with GTR and Joe that who work so well together, especially see look at so Joe is still going to be opting to have a wiper pick. However, they are going to be going down to the Sultana wipers, so that is a stamp that's going to be on their side. And I believe GTR is actually opting for the Kraken again. So a lot of forward momentum type specials coming out from Royalty, maybe hoping to try to get an early pop of some kind. But it looks like they're actually opting for the team fight instead, Kion. Yeah, that's yeah, and especially with the change, just kind of flexing over to the, to the Kraken range blaster, if you will, the custom range blaster. But the wiper is going to be the intriguing thing, and I feel like the the, the play is sound effective from royalty, especially with how narrow the, how narrow the uh, pushing lanes are basically uh, uh, in this map. The question is though, is how how can royalty translate this to still being on the board? And for Sigma, of course, how do you basically translate this into a 3-0 sweep? That's going to be the ultimate question, especially with Sigma on Earth just sticking with this very Rainmaker-specific comp where everything kind of centers on the ink back. But this could be the first uh, checkpoint being cleared. That's such an easy entrance there, and the checkpoint has been breached. Uh, Sigma will get will clear the checkpoint. Royalty has to hope to defend once more. Wow, Knight breaking through and taking one pick, not taking the stamp player out. That is Joe on the Slatana Wiper, but still Royalty having the uh, the Rainmaker in their possession. You can see Sale trying to follow up on the flank here, taking out uh, one in the process, taking out Joe too. That's two members down on Royalty here. You can see Blush is just trying to hold it together with David trying to jump down and help. I mean, a very staggering moment here for Royalty, and especially with the checkpoint being popped for Royalty, this is going to be a really big deal. Wow. An opportunity for them to not have anybody go down. That's three different people down, Kion. This oh. could be the end. Yeah, this could be the end for sure. Knight, Knight just able, to, just able to clear out so much space, and the, and Royalty is going to go three down here. This could be a lot. This could be the jumps coming up here soon, but they're getting a little too opportunistic here. Knight is able to take out one more, and it is going to be two down on both sides. 
and it will be Nacho and the Nacho and the 96 gal trying to see if they can fight fight big. They have to just retreat this Rainmaker to the other direction. Just get that out of the base, if you will. And the 16 points remaining here, Seth, is effectively a strong, could be a push that could seal it for Sigma on Earth. Yeah, that the straw that broke the camel's back there, I almost incidentally, but it's still the Rainmaker is in the hands of Sigma on Earth. Like, David wasn't able to make it too far off of that platform there, um, allowed a good retake point for Sigma on Earth, and now with the special just beginning to stack once again, but you're taking Knight out of the aggressive process. You hear the Kraken coming through into the midsection as well. Maybe he's trying to displace some folks, maybe he's trying to add a little bit more of an in-trail. Um, who knows? But now that's Royalty breaking out into the midsection, but I believe there's still somebody from Sigma on Earth flanking on their platform, Keon. Yeah, that, that was the ultimate question, but it looked like the rest of the group retreats there, and once again, Knight, I believe, got a few picks of their own, and is able to find a second one on top of it, too. Will they shut down the CMP, too? This is just, we are living in Knight's world as we speak here on Sigma on Earth. Knight is just trying to run this, trying to run this one out here, trying to send royalty back to the kingdom, if you will. But if this is going to be GTR looking to see if they can get another chance there, Kraken not able to clear, clear enough, so he's not able to find picks of their own. A minute and 45 seconds left to go. Two members down from Royalty's end. The Rainmaker is picked up. This this stamper has to be huge from Joe. They take out Knight. That's Ooh. one of their big members. Going down, the Rainmaker is going to be a little bit wide there. Two members down, down in this situation, Saf. But Sigma on Earth is just running with all the momentum. Yeah, Sigma on Earth is doing immaculate things here today, Keon. You can see now David and Joe are trying to follow up on the middle here. Not trying to overextend, though. They have actually were playing that team fight pretty safe. Uh, getting two members from Sigma on Earth down there. You, they're trying to entice Orphan and uh, Knight out into the middle zone, especially now with allowing Blush to have the space to push forward here. You can see David trying to try Zuka, displace the members in, push them to the right-hand side. That's GTR trying to help maybe with some of that follow-up. This could be Royalty trying to flip the script here, but like you said, sending the Kingdom packing, they missed the jump there. They're still able to break through the checkpoint though, but that is three members making a wipeout, Keon. Not the way that you want to start your checkpoint break off. The, yeah, not the way you want to start your checkpoint break whatsoever, especially with the wipe out there, which means that the Rainmaker is now on Sigma's side. They could opt for a stall for the stall tactics if they want to take advantage of it, They're, but they believe. I wouldn't be surprised if they are going to let this one reset, try to play, fight for another day, and that's what they're going to do here, Sap. With 20 seconds left to go on the clock, the ink pack is just being popped for a defensive maneuver. The Kraken's just being there. I think they're just trying to find any members of Sigma on Earth, but this is a full defensive front that Sigma on Earth is dishing out. Two specials are popped, and that ink jet is going to take out GTR and on top of it, too. The bubbles is there to protect the Rainmaker with all their might. Night Show no continues on way. into a double. Can Knight look for any more picks to seal it? For, the, for Sigma on Earth, and Knight is just is just jumping for joy. The party's happening for Sigma on Earth. They are your September 2024 winners of Blowing. Congratulations to Sigma on Earth. It, it's like Knight had a two-hour uh, season finale special that we just got to witness over the last hour, <laughs> but especially in the last like 30 minutes. Because wow, what a what an incredible game for Knight. Um, closing out the low ink grand finals here for September 2024. Congratulations to Sigma on Earth. Um, but a great show and fight put up by royalty. Definitely some notes to take home as well. Uh, being the ones who would play the long game out consistently over and over again, only to be forced into that position themselves um, and having to try to correct for that. So incredible gameplay as always here on the low ink commentator desk. Always a pleasure to be here and to be uh, really, really skilled folks come together and spend a great Sunday afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you together playing Splatoon.